Hey, my lovely friends, it's Christine Trainer talking to you from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. How are you all doing today on the 16th day of April, the 16th day of the fourth month of the new decade? Woo! And I want to share with you how much this beautiful positive day is today because it's my daily thoughts today on my and it's positive Thursday. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you just love the sun? I'd open the door, but my kitty cat runs out too fast, so I'll stay put. But I wanted to share you. And right over there, you can see the, the scent in the air is so beautiful. You see the beautiful tree with the blossoms and the green. It's just amazing. Ah, hey, Rebecca. How you doing, girl? Beautiful, positive, awesome day. So I thought I'd share that with you today before I start my chat. And, of course, as I said before, it's my daily thoughts on this my positive Thursday. And you know, I like to do something, change it up a little bit with a few quotes and something else, but I'm going to share an interesting story that just happened, happened to me today. A, a silly a little negative occurrence, but how I got into a more positive spin on it. So let's share with the quotes to start with, right? And this, just one quote, and I'll share about it because I kind of liked it. It's whatever life throws at you, even if it hurts you, you just be strong and fight through it. Remember, strong walls shake but never collapse. Ah, you know what? I love this quote. It kind of rings true. Um, I'm reading a bit, guys. Sorry. I try not to read too much, but I tell you, sometimes what I'm reading is quite interesting. What I write down is quite interesting. <laughs> hey, George. How you doing? So what I want to share is each day in our lives... we will encounter challenges, right? And they'll be thrown at you left and right, left and right. And how we deal with the challenges of everyday challenges is how it's so important. So I always say, so fight and be strong. Take these daily challenges with a strong and positive mind, knowing that you will be happier when you've tackled them in a positive way. And especially small daily challenges, right? So how about this? You know, I'm just top of my head, so to speak. Go on YouTube, put on some good music like that. Justin Timberlake's video, Can't Stop the Feeling. That's a good one because I get you into the positive mindset, right? I tell you, watching fun videos, watching fun, silly videos can really get you into that positive mindset of thinking strong and happy. And that's the best way to do when these little challenges occur every day. That's what I like about watching fun videos or even wonderful inspirational music videos. And the second one here is, this is another great quote. Look for something positive each day, even if some days you have to look a little harder. And that's true, right? Sometimes your day goes by, your day goes by, and you know what happens? All of a sudden something negative occurs. So instead of, and then you figure your day is for shizzle right it's bad it's horrible what a negative day and instead of why don't we turn things around and think of the positive side of the negative thing that happens and understand that's going to happen we're going to have times where there's negative things going to happen even if your day is not going right well and i wanted to share that too because that's a good positive quote to understand that yes Look to the positive side of each day, even if it turns out to be negative, because you can turn it around, you can spin the negative thing around, you can make it into a positive way of thinking. And you know what's best for that is having good positive affirmations too, right? And everybody knows about positive affirmations. They can really help your mindset if you train them and do them every day. And of course, that's one of the things I like to do every day. I actually have these 29 positive mindset kind of boost your self-confidence there's about 29 here but i'm going to read 10 of them off to you that kind of really hit 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 me really hard really well and get me strong and steady each day and the first one is i am fearless i am powerful i am limitless i am my best source of positive motivation i am determined i am grateful in for my challenges i love my flaws I'm confident I can do anything. I put my mind to it. I see abundance everywhere I work. Those are 10 really good ones. Oops, sorry. Out of the 29 that I have. And I love these because I'll read them out or I have written, I have other ones I've written down, but I just thought I'd show you this, this 29 that I printed out and I read them from time to time because you're getting those positive affirmations into your brain, training your brain to stay positive in life challenges or day-to-day -day things that can occur. 
Now, I, as I was writing this one this morning, I realized something happened to me, a negative thing happened to me today. Because I'm an online marketer and I like to enjoy new friendships. Me, I like to start my friendship with a good, trusting relationship, with understanding and getting to know my friends and having a good, positive relationship. That's I th the key, I think. And then as time goes by, we chat about what we do. That's how I like to start my friendship. Because you know the old saying, people know and love and trust people. They don't know and love and trust po uh, products and services. So why do that? Why not just get to know people, understand who they are, and enjoy their relationships, right? Positively. So today occurred where I met some new people, because I like to meet new people every day. Um, because quite a few, I get about maybe 10 or 15 or sometimes 20 friend requests. So I always check out, and this one young person seemed pretty cool. Hey, Anastasia, how you doing, girl? And so I, I became their person's friend, and they were talking to me today. And I asked them how they're doing. They said they're doing well, and they're doing this particular work. Did I know about this work? I went, ah, oh. and they're starting, their work, starting into the work mode, not getting to know me as a friend. So I basically said, let's get to know each other first. Let's get, and not talk about work. Let's, and he didn't, long story short, this person was a big fan of what I did, called me kind of close-minded, and he blocked me and stopped talking to me. Now, I got a little annoyed, I tell you the truth. But then I was talking to another person online, I've known for a little while, and a really sweet person. And they basically reminded me this. You're going to have lovers, you're going to have haters, you're going to have people that are not really wanting to become your friend. They want to either um, have you part of your team or have you buy something. And they really, their intention was not to be friends with you, but just to do that. And so I realized that. That's just, that's just how this person was. And there's many other people who want to become my friends. I mean, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but hey, why get upset about it? So I read some more of my positive affirmations. I, and I thank my friend for helping me out a little bit. And I was okay. I realized I turned it around from a negative to a positive and realized that's just the way this person was. There's many more people out there who want to be my friends and start a wonderful, true, trust, trusting relationship. And that's all. That's okay. And if this person is more into the work mode, that's fine too. It's just that's not where my head is these days. Yes, I'm a marketer, guys. But I like loving wonderful friendships too and be positive that's a to me that's a positive thing so i thought that's a good thing an example to share with you today that i turned that negative situation into a positive situation because when i started doing this about two years ago and people would get mad at me and block me because i just wanted to start a friendship hey michelle how you doing i used to get angry with myself and say it's just something matter with me and then i realized no it's just how they work and how they do their things and that's no big deal so I felt happy because I read my positive affirmations. My friend helped me out a little bit and I felt more positive. So I thought I'd share that with you today, my lovely friends, because that was a good example of turning a negative into a positive and sometimes our life challenges are daily, small daily challenges every day. Okay, now let's read some quotes. You know me, I'm a quote broad. <laughs> the first one I kind of like. You have to be at your strongest when you feel when you're feeling at your weakest. True, right? Be strong even at the weakest of times. Or never let a bad situation bring out the worst in you. Be strong and choose to be positive. Right on, right? And of course, this one by Bernice Johnson Regan. Life challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. Hey Shannon girl, how you doing? I love that one so much. Check out my replay, Shannon. Um, how about this one? Train your mind to see the good in everything. Stay positive. Stay the course. Or this one by Karen Solomonson. This one actually is a good one. I like this one. A happy life is a balanced life. Be kind, but not a doormat. Be trusting, but value boundaries and intuition. Be content and stay open to growing. And this one last one here. Be optimistic isn't always being happy. It takes what the world throws at you and saying, I'm not going to let this get me down. Yes. So my lovely friends, thank you to Rebecca and to George and Anastasia and to Michelle and to Shannon. Thanks for coming on and saying hello. Stay strong and positive, my lovely friends. Have a beautiful, awesome day. My love to y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.